Hey, it's Agnes. I've got a question via email, which is a good question. And it's from Kristen F. Hi, Agnes, it's Kristen again. I was thinking about a thing I am religiously practicing since I tend to take from people a lot, or at least I try without success, obviously. Stop trying to get from people. Love attention, security. I think you have talked a bit about it in some of your videos, but I think it is such an important concept. I would love you to make a video about it, especially since there are no videos out there on YouTube about it. Love, Kristen. Okay, yes, I, Kristen, I agree with you. I think this is a really important subject. Now, I'm going to start by talking about it in relation to relationships and also it applies to work and business okay so when you're in get mode and where I see it the most whether it's coaching people whether it's on Facebook whether it's on you know just social media where people are looking to get attention okay so what I hear is you know I got left by a particular person and I've been putting stuff up on social media so that they will see how well I'm doing. So you're doing it to get a response. You're doing it to get reassurance. You're doing it to get attention. Okay. Now that's coming from getting. Okay. When you're in that, still not coming from the right place. If you really want to have a good relationship with this person, you're still trying to get from them. So it's coming from the wrong place. So nothing wrong if you want to post things on social media, if you're that way inclined and you want to show that you're just having a good time. If that's important to you, well, then you're doing it from a place of, look what I did. This was fun, having a great time. And you're posting from that giving place. No problem. But when you're doing it to try and get a result, as in I want to get love from someone or I want someone to notice me, it's coming from a place of lack and a place of lack of self-love in particular. Okay. Now, the other area is with work. Okay. It's like you go to work, but you don't really fully give because you feel like you're unappreciated or you feel like you're not seen for the work you do so you start to cut back you get there a bit late you leave a bit early you do the minimum or you're watching YouTubes while you're at work or you're shortcutting here there and everywhere so you're actually getting from them you're taking their time okay the thing is you're not actually taking you are taking from them but you're taking from yourself because what that happens then is you are robbing yourself of more opportunity you're robbing yourself of more abundance you're robbing yourself of receiving you see because you're not in giving mode so it looks like you're taking from another person but they don't really know but you're really robbing and taking from yourself because your energy of taking then gets photocopied by the universe and it brings you a lack of stuff, money, love, promotion, having, you know, extras at work, travel or being sent on courses or whatever it is that your line of work offers as extras, they go to someone else who is giving. Okay. So, Really try and ask yourself, where am I taking? Okay, am I taking by cutting in front of someone in the queue at the bank because I saw that I could get there first? So you're taking from that person rather than giving and being gracious and allowing them to go through. Look at all the areas. Are you looking for reinsurance on social media? Are you taking from your workplace? Are you taking extra things like supplies? Are you taking pens or paper? Are you, you know, going to work and doing your photocopying because you can get away with it rather than using your printer and your ink at home? How are you taking? Okay. Also, it's not just taking stuff. It's taking love. It's taking people's money you know like with, with the workplace one you're actually taking money from them if you're taking supplies and if you're taking 
showing up late and going early, those kind of things. So try and get into the place where you're giving because the more you give with a generous heart, the more that gets photocopied and you end up being given too. Now, I'm not saying you do it because you want to get, but you give because it feels good in the end. And it just, you can see the results. They just mushroom out. It is an energy giving, okay? So have a look at where do I take and see if you can correct that this week, this month, and on and on. See if you can correct this character trait, okay? And also, are you trying to get in terms of compliments. I, you know, women especially do this. Do I look good in this dress? Do I, um, you know, how does my body look? Asking questions about weight. How do I look in general? Looking for reassurance, trying to get. See, looking for reassurance in those ways, you know, it's either the person doesn't give it to you or they give it to you but they don't really want to. So women especially have a look at that one, okay? So, and one more thing in terms of the men, because I'm not going to leave you guys out, in terms of trying to get sex, because that's an area where I see a lot of men from coaching and from talking, that it's I want to get sex, okay? Nothing wrong with having sex and enjoying an exchange of sex. It's a beautiful thing. But if you're coming at it with that energy of, I just want to get sex from you, that's often when you don't get it. So it's the same thing. It's the energy of getting. So have a look at that. See how, what you unearth. Put your comments down in the thread. See what little nuggets come out of that. And I'm going to put, there's a little playlist I did ages ago called Getting Versus Giving. So I'll put that down below. Kristen, thank you very much for your question. I think it's fabulous because it is very much as you do this self-love and you do this law of attraction stuff, it is a very, very easy thing to kind of trick yourself that you're not really doing it, you know, or it's not very, <clears throat> not very important. So that's it. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I have a client who does, you'll meet her eventually. She does between 500 and 2000 affirmations a day. And I asked her the question, how do you know? And she said, I got a little counter from eBay. Okay. So I got her to send me the link of where to buy the counter for those of you that actually want to do it that way, because she's had amazing success with doing it and amazing success with her affirmations in a very short period of time of about four to five weeks. You will hear her story when the timing's right. But for now, the little counter that really helped her. Okay. Link down below. Lots of love, everyone.